Hi everyone, I'm Raku and in the series of air combat maneuvering we will now train two things. The inverted flight and the use of the speed brake. This uh, serves the purpose of accustoming you to the inverted flight state and to get a feel for the braking effect of your speed brake. Both are quite equally important in a turning fight, but especially the inverted flight controls while being inverted have to get your second nature. The episode itself will be uh, quite short as I only show you a good way to train that. The actual training, well, you will have to do that by yourself or with your friends. When training the inverted flight you have to know the duration you can sustain an inverted flight without cutting the fuel off from your engines. Most planes can sustain an inverted flight only for a limited amount of time because uh, the gravity pulls the fuel away from the engines, more or less. So be aware of the time for whatever type of uh, aircraft you are flying. What we want to do today is get a feel for the inverted flight. Uh, you can accomplish this by going inverted and do a series of shallow climbs and descents with about 10 degrees of pitch. We're in an uh, F-15C and when going inverted, let's do that just now, the first thing you may or may not do is trim the aircraft out. I'm going to do that now. This makes things a little bit easier. You can fly the F-15C inverted for quite a quite a high amount of time. Okay, first thing to do, let's climb with about 10 degrees. So pushing the stick forward and getting the nose down, so to say, and quite inverted to what we would do normally. And the second uh, thing, let's descend a bit with about 10 degrees of pitch, pulling on the stick. So in contrast to how we would descend normally. Okay, that's about it. Going a level again and letting the fuel flow into the feeder tanks again so that we may go inverted again. Of course, now I changed the trim when going inverted, so now I have to change it again and just trim her out again. And that's about it. Watch uh, the speed a little bit. I'm coming a little bit too fast. We don't want to get supersonic. And that is quite easy in these jets. And another round. Going inverted, this time without trimming. Descending part first. Okay, now getting the nose down, pulling a high amount of negative G to get 10 degrees pitched up. About to G, you can already see me red out. And going level again. Train that. Actually, really train that. Of course, after you, you finish this and go back to level flight, just let you, your feeder tanks fill up again and this allows for another round of, of roller coaster fun. Train that. Get used to, to the controls, especially the upwards and downwards movement when being inverted. Okay, second uh, training is the speed brake training. I settled us for about 400 knots. And what you want to do here is extend your speed brake and just watch the speed deplete to about well let's say let's say one uh, to about three quarters of our initial speed so take a hundred knots away so so we will extend the speed brake wait the time until we are at about 300 knots then uh, get the speed brake in again and watch our speed rise it's just to develop a feel for how fast your speed brake decelerates you and how fast you can accelerate when uh, getting the speed brake break speed brake back in so Turning the speed brake out, there it is. And now just waiting to drop it to the 300 knots mark. It's uh, You already see it doesn't deplete speed that fast. I'm not changing my throttle setting here. I'm just waiting. You can see it's, it's not depleting as fast as you might have guessed, but that's an important thing to know. That's an important thing to get a feeling for. When you are behind an, behind an enemy in a turning fight and you you get a feeling that you may overshoot him, you have to know how much uh, speed you can deplete with a, with a speed break. Okay, approaching 300, this took a, took a fair amount of time. Retreating the speed brake and now let's watch the speed rise again without changing our, th our throttle setting. And you can see it's about the same rate as it, as, as it depleted. So 
so it takes really a fair amount of time of course and in such a setting when you when you would actually retract your retract that is the word I'm searching for the whole time god damn it okay when you, you retract your speed brake uh, and you want to gain speed of course you would push your throttle back just gave give some afterburner maybe if fuel allows it and there we go 400 this was quite fast so get a feeling for this just fly straight and level uh, and test out your speed brake a bit depending on the type of aircraft you are flying Okay, this concludes today's uh, episode and I don't think we have to look at tech view cause there's nothing really to, st to see. Uh, the only thing we could have a look at would be the, the negative g-forces, but that's not really what this episode was about. This episode was about to, to get you accustomed to the, to the feeling of the inverted flight and to get you a feeling of your speed brake. So uh, have fun training that and see you next time.